Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to part four of Kaspersky Antivirus 2016 Prevention Test. I've got about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of malware that I uh, obtained today. Let's go ahead and update the Kaspersky antivirus. I think I already told it to. Hang on. Uh, one issue, yeah, means, okay, just remove that. All right, we need to update the definitions. I, I'm pretty sure I said to do that already, though. And we'll just wait for that. All right, well, I didn't have to wait too long. It's already done. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and test it. Got a couple zip files here. Just gonna drag and drop those to this virtual machine. It was not detected by Kaspersky right off the bat. I have no idea what's inside. I just received this at work today. Homicide case. Well, I would be scared of that. Oh, okay. So Kaspersky detects it once it's been extracted. It is a Trojan downloader. All right, let's see if it detects it if I scan it right here. Oof, disinfect and restart the computer. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't know why I just can't delete it. It's kind of weird. All right, close, move. Stop. All right, uh, let's go ahead and bring up some more here. We'll just go ahead and remove that since we know what it is. We have a fax report. Get these every day. Again, nothing really, uh, well, I wish I could close that. Nothing really detected as soon as I dropped it. If I try to extract it, it is caught. All right, number three, an invoice. Everyone deals with invoices as if you're in business, of course. Move this out of the way. And it's caught. All right, the other ones, uh, let's go ahead and grab those. Just doing one at a time so we can kind of keep track. Mm. Okay, caught. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go with this guy. And that one's caught as well. And we've got three more to go. And I'm not sure if these last three are going to work too well. I don't know if I renamed them right. Come on, bastard. Let's go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And, and keep in mind, this uh, Kaspersky Antivirus um, 2016 edition was installed with just defaults. I did not modify how it's detecting anything at all. So it's just a straight out of the box behavior. Uh, that thing's freaking out, so I'm just going to ignore it. And we'll move on to this, whatever this is. And it was detected as a virus and removed. Oh, well, it said deleted it. Okay, perfect. Uh, something's attempting to mess with my host computer. And we'll go ahead and move that over. Let's say quarantine that. The perils of working with this sh stuff. I don't get too many things that mess with the host, but um, when it does, I'm ready. 
just that's a perfect example of um, why you have to be sort of careful when doing this kind of stuff. So, boy, that stuff's annoying. I never understood Windows 8 when it does that. Cancel. I think I'm stuck in a perpetual, like, go away loop. Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, that that's the danger of, of messing with uh, malware on a virtual machine. You could see that it was detected. Something was detected trying to get into my host machine, my real computer, which was would be not good. Um, I do run Malwarebytes Premium, which is probably out of date by a couple hours or something. That's why it's got the exclamation mark. As well as uh, Secure A+. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm using right now. Yeah, it seems to work pretty well. But anyway, uh, day four looks pretty solid. Uh, we'll wrap up with day five um, for the prevention test tomorrow. And then um, hmm, day six would probably be uh, Friday. Yeah, Friday. I go out on Thursday nights. So Friday would be day six, which would be we'll we'll use like another competitor product and see what was missed or if, if anything was missed. And let's see, day seven is a removal test. So we'll go ahead and infect a computer, get it all jacked up, and try out Kaspersky Antivirus 2016 and see how it does removing stuff that's already installed on the computer. So anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.